Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Midnight Fire Gulfs Aja Market in Lagos. Ah, this is very sad. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time we're reaching you today. We want to say a very big thank you for your huge, massive, and continuous support. We truly, really appreciate you. God bless you. My people, hmm. Overnight, fire engulfed uh, Aja Market. So if you know that Aja Market, after Lekki area, after um, Chevron um, houses and all that, going down, Aja Market, that popular market around that area, is a market where people come to do their trading, their merchandise, and a lot of, uh, you know, a lot, a, whole, a host of, you know, things go on there. This is the market where people are able to take care of their family, feed their family. A lot of millions, if not billions, you know, have been lost overnight. So these are some of the matter we are talking about today. Fire engulfed a jar market and it's just reaching us at the moment. Uh, that's why we are saying the country, we need to put our fire extinguishers, our uh, fire stations in place. Having water having petrol in the vehicle ready to go officers at work this is what we are talking about anyway people let's get into the news and get all the details midnight fire gulfs a jam market in lagos the aja market in the aja market in the aja area of lagos was engulfed by fire on wednesday with valuable merchandise destroyed some of the residents of the area were also rendered homeless as the fire affected some adjoining buildings. However, the cause of the fire incident, which started at about 1 p.m., 1 a.m. rather, was not yet ascertained. But it was gathered that the info started around a shopping mall close to the market and extended into the main Aja market. As at the time of the filing of this report, emergencies response, including Lagos State Emergency Management Agency, Lagos State Fire Services, and men of the Nigerian Police Force were on ground to manage the situation. Lassaman spokesperson Nosa Okobo, while confirming the incident, said no casualty was yet to be recorded. He said there is a fire outbreak there. It started at about 1 a.m., but we are here already. For all indications, the Aja main market has a small shopping mall, and from what we gathered, the fire started from the shopping mall and extended to the main market and affected some adjoining buildings. But the Lassaman response team and other stakeholders, including the Lagos State Fire Service and the police, are already on ground to quench the fire. No casualty has been recorded for now. So my people, this was what happened overnight where fire engulfed a major part, a big part of the market. It started from a mall, as you've heard the uh, news. Uh, this is very sad and we say, we want to say we are, I mean, uh, please, we're really sorry about what has just happened to people who are uh, their source of livelihood and everything depend on this market. This is a place where people, I mean, it's a source of employment. We have not just the traders, we have other people working in this market as well. We have people, you know, who just come about their daily life, their daily bread, are able to manage, take care of their family, their children. Some are single mothers, some are people who just even came to to Lagos for greener pastures to look for a better life. This is what is going on right now in Lagos as we speak, where people are being, where people are being, uh, people are losing their source of livelihood, and it's quite, you know, it's quite, it's quite unfortunate because um, this is a major blow. The people who are engaged in this business who do not need to go and look for a job, but just engage in this form of business where they are able to sell their goods and services. There are even what we call sales girls who come to the market to assist people in their shops. There are different, different, so I mean, different, different people all over who come to the market to work 
work in one capacity or the other. So this is quite unfortunate. This is a very sad incident that has just happened. Those that are engaged, you know, in, in business, that do business transaction, that, you know, other people, uh, they are boys who come around just to even help people clean, as little as cleaning. You know, this is where they are able to get their sort of livelihood clean, uh, you know, assist people. You know, so it's very unfortunate what has just happened. It's very unfortunate. Uh, we really uh, commiserate, we, we, we sympathize with those who have lost valuable overnight. And this is very, this is very, this is very sad. We're very sad. We're very sorry about what has just happened. And uh, they said the fire started from, with a more a small more in the market where uh, this fire burst out and then um, you know spread into the main market and this is quite unfortunate we are very sorry of all that has happened and the lagos uh, police uh, is on ground the fire services are on ground and different incidents are on ground uh, different um, agencies are on ground to assist you know in the in helping people with all this this is what is going on right now as we speak uh, lagos state this is quite sad and we we, 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 we also sympathize with those who has lost some source of valuable, you know, uh, this is the place where even some single mothers, this is, this may just be all that they have. This may just be all that, you know, they are engaged in and with, you know, and those who have come to Lagos to seek a greener pasture where they are able to go out and do one thing or the other. This is quite unfortunate, uh, you know, so, uh, we, we're very, uh, we, we just want you guys to know that this is happening and please, if you leave uh, wherever you live, let's be security conscious. We don't know exactly what's caused this. All they are saying now is speculations that uh, this could be what has caused this fire incident. You know, we are quite... Um, we, we, we know that people have lost valuables overnight and we're really sorry about this. Uh, we, are, we, we want to say, uh, please, whatever you're leaving, just be security conscious. Uh, just also make sure that uh, everything around you is well looked after. Please, uh, if you notice anything, quickly call for the fire services or some form of assistance, which is important. Please uh, don't leave things to chance and ju don't just be quiet. Please make sure you speak up, make sure you... Uh, uh, make things right um you know uh let's please speak up let's please make sure that um, we don't allow people and things around us to be destroyed please um i mean it's night anyway people we are sleeping and there is nothing you could have done there is nothing that could have been done and there is no way you could have been able to do uh, this if um you know if if you you are asleep and you don't know what is happening there is no way you can you can uh, uh save or uh, suffer the moment but what we can do is we can we can quickly call for the fire services and assist in whatever way or kind and if you notice any fire incident please don't get in the mix uh please make sure you first of all you are safe and you are protected that is the first and foremost incident that's the most important thing that you yourself you are safe that's the most important aspect you yourself you are well looked after because you don't need to endanger yourself if you endanger yourself they have to be life first of all for you to be able to be able to look after things this the person who is alive that can be able to say this is what this is the things this is what i need to look after you know so my people this is what happened overnight to a uh, fire incident in lagos uh we're quite sorry and um one thing I just want to say is that we hope that the government is making provision for people who might be losing one thing or the other. There have been fire incidents in other places, in other areas of the country. And what we're just asking is that um, the government assist these people in one form or the other, maybe with a bit of loan or aids to assist them. Some people, their total life, I mean, totally depend on this. This is all that they, they, they've known and they've been engaged in their businesses. This is all that they've actually, actually been doing. And so it's quite unfortunate that this happened. But any form of assistance by the government will go a long way to support these people, to ease this uh, thing that has ha just happened to them. Some people, if you want to know, has lost 
millions in this incident some people i mean you can't just even imagine you know some people borrowed money to go on their trade and everything and now where, where, where do they start from where do they what do they what, what do you want them to do so these are some of the things the reality of what is happening uh we just want to say that um please everyone who has been engaged in uh, you know that have had this incident that one or two things have happened to uh we 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 commiserate with you and we send our messages to say um we hope that uh, these things get better soon and that you find some form of ease anyway my people that's the news for us today this just happened uh, don't forget to like us to share to subscribe click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news god bless you bye for now